before his transformation into a fearsome cyborg commander known for his extensive lightsaber collection. General Grievous was known as Quimen J. Shilau, hailing from the rugged terrains of the planet Kali. During these early years, the Kalish people found themselves embroiled in a brutal conflict against the Harks, a technologically advanced species that enslaved many of Kali's inhabitants. From a young age, Shilau was taught by his father to master the use of primitive slug thrower rifles, demonstrating an aptitude for marksmanship. By the tender age of eight, he had already claimed the lives of over 40 Hark warriors. As he matured into his early 20s, Grievous, alongside his lover, Kumar, became a formidable force against their oppressors. The duo's prowess in battle elevated them to near mythical status among their people, revered as demigods for their relentless onslaught against the Hark invaders. Tragedy struck when Kumar fell in battle against the Harks, a loss that deeply scarred Shilau. In his grief, he took ten new wives and fathered many children, yet none could fill the void left by his first love. It was this profound loss that catalyzed his transformation into Grievous, a name that echoed his enduring sorrow and rage. Fueled by vengeance, Grievous rallied an army, who not only expelled the Hux from Kali, but pursued a relentless campaign against the Hux colonies, desecrating entire worlds in a show of unmatched ferocity. The Harks, allies of many wealthy corporations, sought aid from the Galactic Republic. Thus, the Jedi and the Republic sided with the Harks, and upon driving them back to their homeworld, imposed crippling sanctions upon Kali. These actions plunged Grievous' homeworld into despair, marked by widespread famine and poverty that killed millions. During these tumultuous times, the intergalactic banking clan recognized Grievous' potential offering him the role of enforcer in exchange for financial aid to his beleaguered people. With reluctance, Grievous accepted, becoming an effective debt collector for the clan. However, his duties abroad left Kali vulnerable, allowing the Harks to strike them once again. But despite this renewed invasion, the Republic did nothing, only fueling Grievous' resentment towards the Senate and the Jedi. Severing ties with the banking clan, Grievous returned to Kali to take up arms against the Harks once again. Yet in a twist of fate, the banking clan and Dooku orchestrated an attack on his ship, leaving him near dead. It was at this critical juncture that Grievous received his cybernetic enhancements, marking his rebirth as the relentless Jedi hunter leading the CIS army. Dooku also falsified evidence suggesting that the Republic was involved in the attack on the ship, cementing Grievous' allegiance to Dooku's cause. Thus, Grievous' hatred for the Jedi and the Republic was not without reason. Indeed, Grievous' legacy endured far beyond his death on Utapau. On Kali, he ascended to godhood in the eyes of his people, remembered as a saviour who stood defiant against a corrupt Republic. His legacy inspired a decade of resistance against the Empire, led by one of Grievous' former bodyguards. After the Empire fell, a temple was erected in his honour, standing as a testament to his enduring legacy, revered not just as a military tactician, but as a divine protector who fiercely championed the cause of his people against overwhelming odds.